we're going to be looking at a blues shuffle groove on the cajon. Now, this is pretty simple uh, and the way that we count the blues would be uh, in a shuffle style. That means instead of counting one E and a two E and a, we'll be doing triplets which will be one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. To break it down in a shuffle we'll be playing a lot of the one and the a uh on our bass. And of course, the two and the four accentuated on our snare drum, which is the highs on our cajon, right? So to give you an example, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and and a two and a three and a four and a one. The main goal of learning a rhythm uh, is, is not to know how to count it, but to know how to feel it. So the counting is in order to get you to feel it properly, not the other way around. So it doesn't matter how you count it, it doesn't even matter if you don't count it. If you feel it, that's all that matters. So uh, just to make things easier for you, we count things, we break things down. This is just because our human brain has been used to working in little boxes and ways of doing things. So we kind of make things easier for ourselves. We put things in boxes, learn it first. And once we've learned that and we feel the groove inside of us, then we can let go of the box. Obviously, it's better if you can just uh, skip the whole box thing, uh, but not everybody has the ability to do that. So counting is good. Um, cool. So let's have a look at how we play this groove really slowly with our hand placement. Okay. So obviously, I'm playing all the bass notes with my uh, right hand. Sometimes I put the and as a really soft ghost note. Now, you might not see it from straight away, so I'm going to show you from the side um, what I'm doing to just kind of, I just tap the cajon. It's barely audible, really, um, what I'm doing there, just to keep my time for myself. Um, so pretty much it's one and a two and a three and. You see, I'm still playing the and, but it's, 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 it's a stroke that's barely audible. It's what I call a ghost note. So it's not necessary to put this ghost note in. If you don't feel comfy with it, don't worry about it. It's just an extra. I just want to show you guys what I do when I just want to uh, touch or put a ghost note on the hand, but I don't really want to play it, just to show you the movement of my hand and you can practice it at home. After this, we'll be looking at the screw. We'll start slowly, we'll go a bit faster, and then I'll give you guys a nice demonstration so you guys can play along with me on it, okay? So it's as follows. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a through this groove starting really slowly so you can get more comfy with it and a bit more familiar okay one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and Right, let's try that a bit faster. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, a two, a three, a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, a two and a three, a four and a one and a two and a three, four, one. Two, the three, the four, the one, the 
let's try it a bit faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, the two, the three, the four, the one and the two and the three and the four and the one, the two, the three, the four, the one, the two. Faster. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, a three, a four. A one, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three, a four. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a Faster. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. The bass and the uh, the drums go together hand in hand. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they always play the same, but it's a really good basis to start with. If you're starting with really basic styles, the basic grooves. Now a bassist, basically his job is a mixture uh, between rhythm and harmony. So basically he's playing notes, but he's also kind of like the percussion, he's part of the rhythm section. Many times, especially in these styles of music, the bass and the drums tend to do a lot of things which are similar. Because the bassist is also giving that punch on his bass, and it's giving groove along with, with, your, with your drum. So that just makes the groove a lot more stronger. If you guys play together, it makes it tighter. You know, when you when you listen to a band and you say, damn, those guys are tight. Well, that is what makes it tight, is that the drummer and the bassist has their shit together. Sometimes you don't always have a bassist to your exposure, especially if you're not a full-time musician. And I have found a really great solution for it, and it's called an iPhone. Um, so what I do is I've got GarageBand on my iPhone, and I can get the bass in here to play the typical groove for me um, without me even having to program it I just kind of select it and it kind of plays it um, so you're gonna hear a typical uh, bass line for a blue shuffle um, which is gonna make this groove that we've just learned make a lot more sense and, and you'll understand it a lot easier um, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a demonstration I've got my little Bose uh, wireless uh, something which is super cool I've been using a lot for practicing with my metronome practicing with the garage band so check that stuff out if you're interested in learning this stuff is really really good tools for helping you learn
Well, there we go. There's just a basic blues shuffle groove. I hope it's helped you guys to put it in context uh, along with the basses that we've been playing with along on the garage band on the iPhone. I'm going to be uploading quite a few more videos on the blues, funk, hip hop, pop, rock range. So keep an eye for that. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. It's packed with tips and ideas on how to keep your skin hard, how to tune your cajon. Also, I've got a monthly newsletter which I send out. So sign up to my newsletter. All of this is on my All About Cajon website called cajonbox.com. So go and check it out. Ask me any questions you guys want to. And I look forward to seeing you guys for the next video. Cheers.